and they deserve these extensions. Now, I came out of nowhere. Some fans may say, well, what? why don't you wait until they win the Super Bowl? Why don't you wait until the, you know, because what does Fat Joe say? Yesterday's price ain't today's price. <laughs> no. So you never know how much the price tag will go off for the Shanahan's and Lynch's. But what Jed York learned from, and he gets credit for this, as an owner, the Harbaugh situation probably taught him a, a, a huge lesson. You know, I went with Trent Baalke. I sided with the GM. Didn't work out. I didn't extend Harbaugh, who was crying for the extension. Kind of wore me out. But I think he learned from that, saying, you know what? I'm going to get the next coach I get. And he figured out quickly. Moving off of Jim Tom Sula and Chip Kelly quickly. How many teams we see will keep a coach around or keep a quarterback a around? Long. He said, you know what? I, I got to move on yeah. right now. I know I got to pay these guys, but I got to move on. I got to move on. It's not going to work out long term. Finally got my guy. He's a football lifer. Kyle Shanahan is a football yeah. coach first. He's a football lifer. He was born into this. It's a family business, the Shanahan family business, coaching in the NFL, coaching football. This guy's going to be around a long time. The fan base likes him. He fits our culture. John Lynch fits our culture. Mm -hmm. Went to Stanford. He's been drafting really well. I got a great stable organization, great construction here, roster construction. These guys know what they're doing. Let's just keep them around for a long time. And as long as they're around, the 49ers are going to be relevant. And that's important Fonte, in today's game. How many GM head coach combos are simultaneously getting extensions? Not many. After whiffing on the number three overall not pick. Not many. Well, you know why? When it you're, comes to quarterback. You're whiffed on the number three pick. You're not even blinking. 